There we go. Hi, Home Talk. I'm Melissa with Heirloom Traditions, and we've got a great DIY for you tonight. I'm actually really excited about this one. Can you see what's behind me here? Can you guess what we're painting tonight? We're going to be using our all-in-one paint. I'm sure the label's backwards, but there you go. You can see it. We're going to be using Iron Gate. So while we're giving everyone just a few seconds to jump on live with us, be sure to drop me a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I read them all. I love to see how far the Home Talk community goes. So definitely let me know where you're tuning in from. It's 8 o'clock here in Louisville, Kentucky, and it is already dark outside. So fall is definitely upon us. Um, is it dark where you are? Let me know. Do you have fall temperatures? Because it's still like in the mid 80s here. So looking forward to jacket weather. So, all right. We should have everybody on with us now, so let's get started. So, in case you haven't guessed it yet, we are painting a fridge tonight. I'm really excited about this demo. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while now, and we're going to jump right in. So, real quick before we get to the painting, I know that's the fun part, and everybody wants to see that. It's my favorite part, too, uh, but I do need to talk about prep real quick for a minute. I promise I'll be brief, and we'll get right to the fun stuff, but um, the prep is important on this, and appliance is coated with something that's not like the typical surfaces that you've seen us paint before with the all-in-one paint. It's not coated like your kitchen cabinets, your kitchen table, or front door. It's got a unique um, appliance coating on it, if you will. So I have actually taken an extra step just because this is an appliance and I've used a deglosser. So um, I've never deglossed before, full disclosure. It was a little intimidating, but it was much easier than I anticipated. So I just picked this up at the hardware store. It's clean strip. It's a sanding deglosser. Again, I've never deglossed before, so I'm not partial to any particular brand, but this one was really easy. You just uh, saturate your rag and give the fridge a good rub down, and it removes all the coating on it. You can kind of hear it's kind of, uh, not sticky, but it's not smooth like it is when it's coated. So really easy to do. Definitely recommend doing that for the fridge again. Typical surfaces that you're going to be painting with the all-in-one paint, you don't have to do that. You're just going to uh, give your surface a good degreasing, give your paint a good stir, and you're ready to go. But again, for a fridge, unfortunately, my fridge gets a good amount of use. I'm working on that, and I'm trying to <laughs> uh, minimize the frequency that the fridge is opening and closing, but it needs a good, clean surface to bond to, so we've removed the coatings on there. So we're going to get started. Are you guys excited? I'm really excited about this demo. I've been bugging Paula uh, for a while about painting a fridge. She said she was kind of over me talking about it, but I'm just convinced that Home Talk viewers are really going to love this demo. So I've prepped this fridge in a couple different stages. We're going to start on this nice clean side. So you can see this is white to begin with, and we're going black, which is Iron Gate in the All-in-One Paint by Heritage Collection. So let's get going. We're going to talk a lot tonight about stippling. It's something you guys have heard us talk about a lot. And I still get a lot of questions about it, so I just want to really focus on that a little bit while we're doing this first coat. So I'm going to get a good little liberal coat on my brush, and we're going to get started. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me good. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of unload my brush a little bit here. Just doing typical linear strokes. Because if I start doing the stippling technique now with my brush fully loaded with paint, it's going to start splattering everywhere. So now I'm going to do the stipple. So this is it. Not real technical, but I'm just going to pounce my brush. Can you see that? So I'm creating some track marks here. I'm not doing it real heavy. I'm not really picking up my brush much. Just a little pounce. And there's a real scientific reason to why we recommend this for your first coat of all-in-one paint. We call this the scratch coat. This is where you're establishing the bonding. So don't be alarmed that this isn't looking super pretty, um, that it's not coating 100%. Sometimes you'll get 100% coat on the first time, sometimes you won't. It just depends on the surface that you're painting. Now we're going drastic contrast here. We're going from stark, stark white to dark, dark black. So again, we're just going to stipple, 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 stipple. And watch how fast we can get the side done. I've got a quick question. Sure. People want to know why you're not using a roller. You could. Um, I prefer a brush with uh, the all-in-one paint, just so I can control how much paint I'm getting on. This paint is self-leveling, so you do need a good amount of paint. Paint needs paint to level into. So I feel like I can control that a little bit better with a brush. 
But if you're so inclined, you could definitely do the first coat with a roller without any problem or with our two applicator sponge if you prefer that. So we're just gonna get this on. And then I've got some other parts of the fridge that are prepped that we will show you coat two. And the final coat, we've got a neat little surprise here in a minute. And we're gonna talk about our giveaway. We've got a great giveaway for you guys tonight. And then of course our promotion that is exclusive for our Home Talk viewers. And I've got Amy here with me. She's manning the computers and kind of keeping an eye on the camera for me. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask away in the comments. And Amy will try to holler those out to me and we'll try to answer as many of them as we can live on the air. I think people don't understand how you can write on the ah, after it's done. Yes, did Home Talk already post the, they the giveaway? They posted the question. Yep. We're gonna get to that in just a second. Bear with me here. I'm just gonna do about half of this for you. And then we're gonna have a quick little camera adjustment and we will talk about that giveaway. So did any of you see, so we're on Home Talk every week, every Tuesday. We were on at five o'clock, now we're on at eight o'clock, Easter Standard Time. So be sure to tune in with us every Tuesday at eight o'clock here on Home Talk. But we had the amazing Tracy Bellion of Tracy's Fancies did our live for us last week, because Paula and I were out of town. And she showed you guys how the all-in-one paint makes an amazing chalkboard. And it actually makes a clean white chalkboard, which is what's special about it. Has anybody used the Bristolium or some other brand of chalkboard paint to make like a chalkboard wall in their home? Um, I did it 100 years ago when my son was little. I did it in his playroom. And the bad thing about it was it was super dirty looking, really, just chalky. It always had the chalk residue, phantom writing and phantom scribbles from where he scribbled on it never really came clean. So all-in-one paint is totally different. It makes completely wipeable chalkboard. No phantom writing, no chalky residue. It's really something special. So does everybody kind of get the idea of the stippling? So we're gonna do that for the first coat. So um, I don't wanna bore you guys going all the way to the bottom here, but that's the technique for the first coat. You're gonna let this fully dry. The one thing people kind of tend to go wrong with on these new resin, paints is they want to rush the dry time. So let it dry. Don't overwork it. Don't keep messing with it. Let it dry. You'll pull the paint back off if you go to it too soon. So wait till you think it's dry and then wait 10 more minutes and you'll be good. Okay. So we're going to let this start to dry and Amy's going to help me move the camera here and we're going to go over to the front where I've got the next section prepped for you guys. There we go. Can you guys see okay? There we go. We're back. Hi. Okay, so you can see this top section is completely done. This is two coats and fully dry. This is one coat. So this is what that side that we just did looks like after it's dry. And I'm going to show you guys coat two real quick. So this is the part where later on we're going to write on it and show you guys the great chalkboard look. And so drop your comments in for the giveaway. What would you write on your fridge? Uh, would you write your menu for the night or for the week? Would you write your grocery list? Is anybody lucky enough to have a husband that goes to the grocery for them? The best husband. So he does most of the grocery shopping. So I make him lists and I've got a little magnetic post-it thing on the fridge and I do that for him. But if my fridge were painted, I would just write it on the fridge for him. He would snap a picture with a smartphone and just take it with him. So uh, tell me what you would write on yours and you're gonna to get to win an all-in-one paint in your choice of the beautiful 12 colors. Make your own chalkboard uh, wherever you'd like, whether that's your fridge or the inside of your cabinets or anywhere you'd like. So, okay, we're gonna get started on coat two here because I wanna show you guys. So this is where the magic happens. Coat one, you can see, it's not super pretty. I get a lot of calls at this stage or a lot of Facebook messages at this stage saying, I don't think I'm doing this right. It doesn't look very good. It's not covering very good. That's okay, that's typical. Again, we're establishing the bonding here. The magic happens in coat two. So don't judge it off coat one. Don't judge your brush strokes. Don't freak out. Push through the ugly phase. It's like that with all paints. The first coat is typically kind of what I call the ugly phase. So and my quartz getting a little bit low here because I've used this for multiple products. So I'm making a good mess of my brush, but I'm gonna make it work for you here. Okay, so we're gonna put a good liberal coat on. I think I've showed this in a couple demos before, but I wanna show you guys again. So I've dipped my brush and I'm just going to clean off one side against my jar. I'm gonna leave the top side 
fully covered in paint. That's how I get a nice good liberal coat. A lot of people want to clean the paint off of both sides of their brush and then they're really dry brushing. So again, self-leveling paint like this needs paint to level into. So you want to give it a good coat. So here we go. Hopefully you guys can see pretty good. Look at that. And again, we're going super stark white to black. So we may end up with a spot or two that we need a little touch up on. But for the most part, we're definitely getting this in two coats. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, so again, I'm dip my brush, wipe one side, and just put the paint to it. You don't want to be stingy with all one paint. That's the other place people tend to go wrong. We need a fair amount of paint here. It goes a long way, so don't be worried about that you're gonna to use too much. A quart of this paint will actually paint a standard eight by 10 kitchen. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. Again, this is all in one paint by Heritage Collection. We're using the color Iron Gate. Amy, do we have any questions while I'm painting away here on coat two? Or is everybody pretty quiet? People want to know how many coats do you need? Do you just need two? Do you need three? Does it depend on your refrigerator? Sure. Typically, two coats um, for a fridge. You may need a little touch-up coat. It depends on how good your technique is. Everything that you're painting is going to be a little bit different. So let's say I'm painting on mahogany cabinets or mahogany stained cabinets or cherry and I want to paint bright white. If I'm doing that, I'm probably going to need a primer or I'm going to be putting down a lot of coats of paint. That's just typical painter's um, problems with white. So sometimes you do need a primer. In this case, we're painting black and we've deglossed the fridge, so we don't need it. But in some cases, you may need a shellac type blocking primer. Um, most of the time you don't. This paint does have a built-in bonding primer. It has a built-in wax and a built-in top coat. So this paint is super durable. That's why I've chosen it for the fridge. Um, I'm sure your fridge takes a, a good amount of beating by the children at home and it needs to be good and durable. Your cabinets need to be good and durable, scrubbable. Uh, this paint is that, and it's that without a top coat. It's really quite amazing. We are all about the all-in-one at Heirloom Traditions. We are all about less steps, and that's the way we like it. So we got a couple more. Okay. How do you clean this next week after it's all dry? How do you maintain it? Sure. So this paint dries to a nice hard finish in about 24 to 48 hours. Sorry, you guys, I'm off camera over here painting this side but you can see my hand here, but um, it takes 30 days to fully, fully cure, but it is good and durable after 48. So what I mean by 30 days is, I wouldn't recommend taking simple green or some type of degreasing agent to your fridge or to your cabinets before 30 days is up. You want to give it some time to cure out before you go taking harsh things to it. But this paint is very durable, so you're gonna clean it just like you would Clean your factory finish of that piece. So we're gonna talk about the handles real quick. So the reason I wanted to do this demo is because I used to have the most gorgeous fridge in my old house. It was white, black handles, black ice maker. I just love this fridge. Of course, it was one of the most expensive things I bought early on in our marriage. Um, and then it croaked. Right before we were about to sell the house, it just bit the dust and I had I went and got a used one because I knew the new buyers were gonna want it anyways and I wasn't gonna put in a real expensive fridge. And the new one wasn't nearly as pretty. The new one had white handles and then of course I inherited the fridge at my current house which is now about 12 years old and it has white handles. And they are just yellowed from over time. White handles do that. They do it on your stove, they do it on your dishwasher, they do it on your fridge. Anybody else out there got the creamy yellowy handles? So. Uh, what I love about this, and this is the reason I came up with this, is that I looked into replacing my handles, and they're outrageously expensive to replace handles on a fridge. So this is a nice, great, cheap way for me to refresh my fridge and get rid of those yellowy handles. So um, you could do just your handles if you didn't want to paint your whole fridge, or you could um, paint the whole thing like we're doing. I'm doing the whole thing black, and it looks just like a factory finish. So Will magnets stick to the finish? Yeah. I don't see why magnets won't. There you go. There's a, you can't tell what that is, but it's a half a cat butt there. Because <laughs> you know we love cats here at Heirloom Traditions. So. Uh, but yeah, magnets will definitely stick to it. So on the handle, 
Of course, you can take these off and paint them if you wanted to. If you were going to paint them a different color, you could paint the fridge. There we go. Okay. So, handles, we're just going to paint the same way. I'm painting, um, this is the metal part of the handle up here, plastic molded uh, for the handle part. We're just painting the whole thing. And again, first coat I stippled. This is the second coat, so I'm just brushing on a nice liberal coat. You may need a little skinny kind of trim brush to get in here on the inside, or you can just kind of force your big brush in like I've done, but it's super easy to do. Um, of course, you want to make sure that you get the inside here as well. So what I like to say is anything that's the same texture as this, you want to paint. You don't want to get into these rubber gaskets here. I'm showing you guys the inside of this dirty shop fridge here. But these rubber gaskets along here, you don't want to paint. You could, but I wouldn't. And the great thing is, I'll get a little bit of paint on them here for my gloves, but these things do peel back. You guys probably can't see that here, but they do kind of peel away from your fridge. So you could look at that. I managed to get paint on me, couldn't help it. Um, so you could have somebody pull that away for you, get your brush in there, and then just let it kind of fall back. And that'd be an easy way to trim it out. Of course, you can tape it. Or if you're just really good at edging, you could do that too. Some people are really good at cutting in edges. Paula is, I am not. My mother's amazing at it, but I did not inherit that gene, so. Is everybody getting the idea here? What are we thinking? So again, second coat, just a nice liberal coat. Amy, any more questions? Um, stainless, can you paint stainless steel? Amy said we would get that question. So you could paint stainless steel. Um, hopefully you're only wanting to because it's gotten scratched or dirty, but you could, definitely. This paint adheres to Almost any surface. I haven't really found a surface yet that it doesn't adhere to. I'm sure there's one out there, but I haven't found it yet. So um, this is great for painting your kitchen cabinets. It's also great for painting um, anything that's an exterior surface. It's that durable. It's also UV resistant. So you've seen us probably on here do the front door demo. We've done, um, we haven't done yet, but I want to do a shutter demo. Um, you can also paint your kitchen cabinets with no top coat needed, uh, no wax required. You can paint your kitchen dining table. Um, again, it's going to hold up to all of those hard wearing surfaces. Okay, I think you guys get the idea here. Again, you don't want to overwork this paint. Let it dry. If you missed a few spots, just go back and touch them up. You don't want to keep overworking it. Any more questions? No, I think that's it. You guys are easy tonight. Yeah. You guys aren't bombarding Amy like you usually do me when I'm behind the scenes on the computer. So, going easy on her, huh? Okay, so reminder about the giveaway. Um, tell me what you would write on your uh, fridge because this does make the most amazing white clean chalkboard and I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So, um, let's see, I'm gonna write. I'm not a chalk artist, so some of you may be Tracy Bellion's probably cringing right now because she's amazing at it. I'm not. So this is probably backwards and you can't read it, I'm sure, but this says buy two, BTGO, buy two, get one free. Um, we're doing a great promotion for our, exclusive for our Home Talk viewers tonight. So the promotion starts now. You can buy any two items in the all-in-one paint category on our website, allinonepaint.com, and you will get a third item of lesser or equal value completely free. Free shipping over 75 still applies. Doesn't um, change anything for you there. So this is a great time to get uh, a stock going on your all-in-one paint and get all of your home improvement and home decor projects done. You don't have to buy all the same things. So you can buy a quart of cashmere, you can buy a quart of this beautiful iron gate and get a 16 ounce of the Weatherwood free or get another quart of Amalfi for free. So it's a great deal. Oh, you guys are liking that. Okay, I see that. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Oh, I forgot to wet my rag here, but we're we got some good suggestions. Do we? Well, we're going to get to them here. Okay. Can you use chalk markers? If they are erasable, you could. Um, this is just cheapy old dollar store chalk, school chalk. It's nothing special. Um, but you can see I just completely wiped that clean. And actually, my rag's totally dry because I forgot to wet it ahead of time, so... I did that with a completely dry rag. You could also wet your rag and make sure you got it all. 
Um, this is a textured fridge, so there might be a little tiny bit of residue in the little um, eggshell texture of the fridge, but if I had a wet rag, that would totally get that out. So Amy, what are some of the suggestions that we had for so what people are gonna write on their fridge? So we got a lot of the standard ones, schedules, menus, grocery lists, but a few that I liked were um, jokes of the day. Jokes of the day, okay, so who's got a joke for me? Did they give us a suggestion? Oh no, they didn't give us any joke suggestions. I am no. so bad at writing on chalkboard. Okay. Um, the so next one was games, like hangman and tic-tac-toe. Oh, I love it. I give like the, that too. Give I the kids something to do. Yeah. I'm actually really, really good at tic-tac-toe. And I taught my son how to play, and now he has figured out new techniques, and we used to just draw all the time, and now he beats me, and I really don't like it. So, Okay, so tic-tac-toe. What else we got? Um, the daily weather, which I like that too, because you mm. can draw a little sunshine, mm -hmm. little rain clouds. So today, it was 86, and sunny. Sunny. An artist I'm not. Sorry. Wish I was. But these are just a couple of the examples you can do with this fridge. I just wanted to show you that it does wipe clean over and over and over again. Just oh. painted this today. It's not been sitting here um, six hours maybe, maybe less. So this isn't anything special. This is something you can easily do at your home and transform your fridge. I'm going to post some close-up pictures when this live is over. I want you guys to see these handles. In fact, I'm going to try to see if I can bear with me here. Sorry. Can you guys see those handles? How amazing is that? It looks like it was molded in black. It's no longer the white, kind of yellowy color, but it just looks amazing. The handles are the most amazing part to me because that's what really makes your fridge look old in a hurry. So this is a great way to transform them. Um, you could just paint your handles, paint your whole fridge, whatever you want to do. So, any more questions? No, no, okay. I think that's it. Okay, great. Well, we are very excited that you joined us tonight on Home Talk. Don't forget about our promotion for the Heritage Collection All-in-One Paint. Again, the color we used tonight was um, Iron Gate. But you could easily paint your fridge with Cathedral. It's a nice steel gray. Cobblestone, a nice mid-tone gray. If you want to get wild and crazy, you could even do a color like Wedgwood, which is a blue gray. Uh, just something that would go with your kitchen cabinets that you can also paint with the All-in-One Paint. So you can give your whole kitchen a nice refreshing um, and however you want. You can also, I don't know if you guys have seen it, they sell these molding kits for cabinets at home improvement stores like Home Depot or Lowe's. You can actually glue those on, and if you look at my blog on Home Talk, which I'm sure they've posted for us, uh, you can see some inspiration photos of some I grabbed from Pinterest where they've added some moldings and made this into a nice romantic kind of looking fridge. Um, you could even add moldings where you make yourself. If you have those kits where you can make moldings, put them on the fridge and give this some really ornate beautiful detail, antique it with the antiquing gel, it's gorgeous. Or you can do a fun fridge where you make it into a chalkboard, whatever you want. You're the designer in your own home with this paint, so you can do what you want to do, which is great. I love having those options. So don't forget our promotion, buy two, get one free. Um, I've also extended it to the finishing category. So not only are you getting the all-in-one buy two, get one free, but if you want to use a gel wax for your antiquing or if you've used our one gel before, that also counts in the promotion. So buy two, get one free. Uh, take advantage if you can, get quarts. That way you're getting the maximum amount for free. A quart is $39. So take advantage and get $39 for free. Any more questions? No, All right, it. great Home Talk. Thank you, you've been great tonight. And we've had a pleasure. Be sure to tune in with us next Tuesday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're on every Tuesday. Um, next week, we're gonna be doing a finish hall demo for you. We've got some vinyl chairs in our conference room that are ripped and scuffed and we're going to show you how to repair vinyl and how to paint your vinyl so we're really excited about that i hope you'll tune in with us and we will see you next week good night <laughs>